When using X8 Sandbox on Android versions 12, 13, and 14 devices, various issues such as getting stuck, the app closing suddenly, or freezing on the loading screen can occur. The reason for these problems is that there haven't been any new updates from the X8 Sandbox app developers. So what's the solution? The best way to resolve this is to install and use alternative apps for X8 Sandbox. Currently, there are two best alternative apps for X8 Sandbox, VPhone Gaga and Virtual Master. Both both of these alternative apps work perfectly on Android versions 12, 13, and 14. Additionally, these two apps are free. Now let's see how to download and use these two apps from their official websites. First, let's take a look at VPhone Gaga. I will first show that my device is not rooted. Now, I will show you that my Android version is 14. Okay, now open your Chrome browser. Search for VPhone Gaga official. Open the link. Click here and download the app. I have already downloaded it. After downloading, install and open the app. To use VPhone Gaga on Android 14, we need to turn on a few settings. Open your settings and go to About Phone. In this section, click on the OS version seven times to enable developer options. Now, open the developer option settings. Scroll down and enable the option Disable Child Process Restrictions. Now, open VPhone Gaga. Follow along as I click through the options. Click here, select Root Settings and ensure that the root option is enabled. Now, I will install Root Checker to show that I have root access in this virtual machine. As you can see, I now have root access. All right, now let's take a look at the Virtual Master app. First, I will show you that my Android version is 14. Now I show my device is not rooted. Okay, now install Virtual Master from Play Store. Open Virtual Master. Click here to activate Virtual Master for Android 14. Now connect to Wi-Fi. You can also turn on the hotspot on another device and connect to it. Make sure the hotspot connection should have internet. Don't worry, this Wi-Fi is only required for first time login. Now we need to open developer option. Open your settings. Click on about phone. Tap on the OS version seven times. Now open developer option. Now open Virtual Master. Click here. Now allow notification permission. Click here. Click on Wireless Debugging. Enable it. Click on Pair Device with Pairing Code. Now enter this code in Notification Bar. Click on Activate Now. Tap here to activate. Now the Virtual Master is properly activated. Click on Create VM. We don't need this Wi-Fi anymore. Turn it off. Download this. After downloading, click on Next. Select any resolution. Click here. Click here. Click here to start VM. To get root access, you need to install Super User and then Exposed Installer. Now click on Add Files and import Super User and Exposed Installer one by one. Now, I'll install Root Checker and show you that I have successfully gained root access on my device. As you can see now, my virtual machine has root access. So friends, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a like and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you.